Okay, so those of you following me a while, you've seen I've done some reaction videos over the past year. Particularly, I've done reaction videos to Scooter Magruder, who's a Cowboys fan. But I've done reaction videos to his videos where he parodies NFL and NBA fan bases after trade deadlines in the draft. He parodies the different fan bases' reactions. There's another YouTuber, Tom Gross. He's a Packers fan. He does a lot of football vids, does a lot of live streams, and even he does some parody vids too. And he's doing right now currently a parody for all the NFL fan bases' reaction to their team season. He just uploaded a couple hours ago this parody of Eagles fans' reaction to the 2021-2022 season. So I'm going to watch it, check it out, see how accurate his parody of Eagles fans is. So decided to wait till now to watch it so I can watch it in real time. Here we go. So he's going to start his parody in January 2021. So here we go. So long, Doug Peterson. Thank you for the Super Bowl. Yep, accurate. If only Howie could get fired. Nick Sirianni getting hired. Okay. Thank God it's not Josh McDaniels. We've traded. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, that was kind of accurate. Yep. And went. So we got a head coach and they got our quarterback. Honestly, I thought we'd get more. Jason Kelsey. Yeah, I know. Yep. We were disappointed. We were not, a lot of us weren't happy with that trade package at first, though. Yeah, we were expecting more out of it. Coming back. I love that guy. See, while other franchises fans get excited for the draft, I just know that Howie's going to ruin ours. So. Yeah, there kind of is some of that spec. But there was some more optimism, though, on YouTube. There was still a little bit of that optimism by other by a lot of fans. He got closer to the draft. So, I mean, that attitude shared by some of us, but no. I just keep my expectations low. Holy crap, we traded back and we still got Devontae Smith. Suck it, Giants. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, listen, I got to keep it in perspective. It's a rebuild year, okay? Low expectations. Yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of that. There was. There was. I mean, yeah. So there's some accuracy if there. Could win like six, seven games. I'd be pretty happy. Yep, I remember that. I was thinking seven wins would be a good season going into it. So it was a little bit along the lines of what I was thinking going into the season. whole lot of that i didn't see anyone really doing that that's more of a stereotype of sheep fans of of any team period okay i might have gotten a little too excited last week because we're rebuilding gonna have our bumps in the road two carries for miles sanders two what are we doing no, I mean, honestly, is Chip Kelly back there somewhere? <laughs> what are you doing with two? We were, you were right about that. We were pissed about that. Shady McCoy retiring with us. Good. Yep. Now I'm just mad at Accurate. Again. Let's see. What was worse? The bad defense, the penalties, no offensive line, or just kicking field goals in the red zone? How about all of them? Yeah. I truly don't know how we won that game. Yep. That, yep. That was like, yep, I remember. That was like the least satisfying win of the season in terms of how we felt about it at the time and even looking back on it now. Truly. Well, Quest Watkins looks pretty good, so that's solid. Oh, and run the football. Yep, spot on. You forever, Zach Ertz. And I'm just glad you can go to a Super Bowl contending team that totally won't get bounced in the wild card. That's it. Fire Howie. <laughs> Fire him into the sun. I knew that he was the real problem. It wasn't Carson Wentz. No, it wasn't. Doug oh, this is when the outrage was starting, right around that time. That was like my first, like, real rant of the season. Don't be confused, people out there. No, yep. That's spot on. The game wasn't that close. It wasn't that close. And now Nick Sirianni's talking about flowers. <laughs> okay. Let's just plant a little garden. It's just a little garden. You want to wear that on my head? Oh, <laughs> Did we run 
Oh my god, yeah, that at the time that really aggravated me at the time. I even did a reaction to that. But looking back on now, considering right around there with my my fingers pointing to the week eight lines dub text. Yeah, right around that time when we started to turn things around, it looked like Sirianni's flower analogy actually has some credibility. All 46 times and we won? <laughs> I'm shocked. I know. Yep, that was our reaction. That was. You know what? I'm actually okay with this loss. We know we were actually pretty darn competitive. Right. Really it was the defense I was upset about on that the one. The downside is Justin Herbert literally could have had a sit-down dinner back there because no one touched him, but... Yep. Okay. Yeah. There he is. Jalen Hurts, QB1, future Hall of Famer. I believed in him this entire time. This whole season, I've been saying, how good is Jalen Hurts? How good is Jake Elliott this year? And by the way, three rushing touchdowns. He did have a good, yeah, he did have a good season, Jake Elliott. He saved himself for next year, in my eye. Jalen Hurts, and it's on the Saints should make them suffer. Now, I know the interceptions were bad, but Jalen Rieger, yeah, this is when we decide. This is the beginning of the end of us being patient. Pretty darn good. Do we have a QB controversy in Philly? Again, I wasn't one of those guys. Not me. There were others, but not me. I wasn't one of those fans. I knew it worked. And the Eagles get the Colts' first round pick. We fleeced them. Oh, I knew that was a great trade. You know what? On paper, you did a pretty nice job. Maybe we should trade for Garrett Gilbert and have three QBs for our controversy. Well, this first half was. I, no, nobody said that. No, I didn't hear anybody saying that. Lane Johnson with the big man TD. Uh, yeah, that, that was fun to see. That was cool. So now he only has one less touchdown than Jalen Rieger for the entire season. <laughs> oh. Yeah, when you put it that way, yeah, that just further emphasizes how big a buzz rigger is. Play wide receiver. The Cowboys can't clinch a bye, but guess who clinched the playoff spot? Yep. Oh my God, I knew we were the best win of the season. So confident in this team. I was just yep. wait a little bit longer. Let's not do anything irrational. It's okay. It was just against our backups. Yeah, pretty much spot on. Scorigami is pretty cool though. Oh, it looks like the Colts played their backups, too. I got to be honest. The fact that we're even in the playoffs is amazing. I yep, spot on. From this team whatsoever. Yep, that went about the way I anticipated. Yeah, we all anticipated oh. that. Speaking as Eagles fan, our fan base did anticipate that. We anticipated that. But I was hoping we would have put up a better fight instead of getting annihilated. Three first-round picks. Also, can we retroactively go back and not draft Jalen Rieger? <laughs> nah, too late on that one. But yeah, if it was our decision as Eagles fans, we'd go back in time and draft Justin Jefferson in a heartbeat. Is that allowed? The Cowboys lost. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. Oh, but I thought you guys were really so ready. This was your year. Oh, yep. We are backups. <laughs> that sounds about right. against Nick Foles. Hey, at least Andy Reid is still, uh, and he's gone. But the Bengals, they're going to win their first Super Bowl, and OBJ won his first. Three first-round picks, though. I'm excited. Oh, no, how he's going to mess it up again, isn't he? Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what we're thinking. Okay, so once I was saw, once I saw that he did a parody of the Eagles – Fan base for the season, I'm like, let me see what it's like, see how accurate it is. Most of it, most of it was spot on, most of it. There were a few ones in there I was like, I don't know where he got that from. I think he's just making assumptions. But it was pretty good. And if you enjoyed that, definitely just check out more of Tom Grossi's parodies in his videos if you enjoyed that. You know, thank everyone that watched. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see me do more reactions? about Eagles and Sixers content related, definitely feel free to encourage me to do so in the comment section. And also feel free to hit subscribe if you're new. Well, sorry, I can't speak right now. But definitely, if you're new, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button to show your support for the channel. Feel free to leave a comment. To most of all, have a wonderful day or night. Nikki Steve signing off, and I'll see you next time.